Hey, what's going on everyone? Axel here. So recently I decided to roll up a new character on a new server and it got me thinking about the topic I'm going to talk about today, which is one character versus many characters. Which one should you run? Should you just play one character or should you play many? So in this video, I'm going to run through the pros and cons of each and at the end, I'll give you my conclusions. Let's start with one character. The biggest and most obvious benefit of running one character is you have more time to max out stuff. You have more time to make your character powerful. And this exerts itself in the form of gear. With one character, you can really grind out that really grindy gear if you want to. With one character, you can more easily max out your experience to level 30, your epic destinies, your twists. You can more, uh, more likely max out your character's power in terms of past lives. You can grind out those 10, 20 past lives if you want to. You can go after racial past lives. You can go after epic past lives. You can go for completionist or epic completionist if you want to. That's the big pro because the concept of limited time is something that unfortunately affects all of us. We don't have all the time in the world to play DDO. A lot of us have other responsibilities. We have jobs. We have, uh, we have friends. We may have kids. We might have other hobbies that we're really into maybe we like to go fishing on the weekends maybe we like to play other games as well there's a limited amount of time unfortunately to play ddo so focusing on one character lets you more easily make your character powerful now the fact is for a lot of us if we don't focus on one character we probably re won't get through a lot of this grind in a reasonable amount of time it could take years and years to really max out your character if you don't focus on one so focusing on one character will for most people give you access to the most powerful character you can create. So that is definitely the biggest pro of running one character. Now as far as the cons go, I think one of the biggest cons of running just one character is you are limiting yourself to only one gameplay experience. If you're running a rogue, you're only going to experience the game from the perspective of a rogue. If you're running a very specialized build like maybe a a specialized healer you're only going to experience the game from that side of things if you're running just a DPS build you're not going to experience what it's like to run a support character so that's one of the biggest downsides you'll you kind of limit what you can experience in the game if you only run one character I think because of this running only one character can also cause more burnout because again you're only experiencing DDO in one way you're only looking through the game in one lens Another thing is if you are one of those people with a lot of time who do play the game on a daily basis, if you only run one character, you can run out of things to do. And I think that's why a lot of your really hardcore daily players do end up running alts is because they simply do run out of stuff to do. Because eventually, even though the grind's really long, you will grind out. You will get to completionist. You will get to, you will get all the epic past lives you want, or the heroic past lives you want. You will get all the gear you want. So you could get to a point where you really don't have anything you want to do and even if you're not someone who wants to to max everything maybe you aren't really interested in completionist maybe that doesn't give your character enough of a benefit to really matter you might run out of things to do that you actually want to actively accomplish even if there technically are more things to do like go after completionist it may not be worth it to you so the things you actually want to go after in the game may be limited anyways another con is with just one character you are stuck at one level range all the time your character if they're at level 20, you can't go run Corthos stuff with other level 1s. I mean, technically you could go through Corthos and bulldoze through it, but you can't experience the content in w within the level range where it's challenging. And of course, now with new difficulties like Reaper that have level restrictions, there's certain content you cannot run on Reaper if you're not within a certain level range. So you will literally have certain content cut off to you at certain difficulty settings. Let's move on to running multiple characters. The biggest advantage to running multiple characters is you give yourself a more, more of a variety of gameplay experiences. This is the con I was discussing just a second ago. You can run your rogue, and if you get bored of your rogue, you can run your healer. If you get bored of your healer, you can go run your fighter. If you get bored of your fighter, you can go run your warlock. You can really avoid burnout in that way, and I think that players that do stick around long term do end up having multiple alts for this reason. They, If they were just to stick to one character, they could get a lot of burnout and probably wouldn't be here for this long now of course there are exceptions it's not that way for everyone but I think you're more likely for the average person you're more likely to get burnt out if you do not if you do limit yourself to one character instead of playing multiple ones 
another pro of running multiple characters is you can fill various roles when needed. Say a raid specifically needs one class, you can fill that role. You can maybe you're in, in maybe you're in a raiding guild and you have several characters a cap. You can pull out that healer if your raid leader really wants one. And at the same same token, you aren't limited to raid bypass raid by uh, to to raids uh, the limits on the time the timers. <laughs> <laughs> the three-day timers, you aren't limited to them. And it'll save you some money because instead of having to go to the store and buy a legendary raid bypass timer, you can just pull out an alt and run the raid on a tune that is not on timer currently. Another advantage, if you run multiple characters, you can play on multiple servers. So if you have three characters all on three different servers, say Thalanus is pr not particularly active one night, you can go over to Sorlona and maybe there's a lot more activity going on there. You have a lot more options in terms of public grouping. Now as far as the cons go, the biggest con is obviously that it takes longer to gear out multiple characters. And I think for a lot of us, it's really tough, especially the the way the game, the, where the game's gone these days is that as the game gets older and older, it's only more natural for the developers to fill the game with more and more grinds, more and more things to go, at, more and more things to do. And while that's great and it's it's needed and that should happen, as because the players need more and more stuff to do, or we run out of stuff to do, the developers have to constantly put stuff in the game, like say racial reincarnation, fairly recently, to give players who like to go after completionists more lives to run through but the downside of them adding that stuff is that it creates more of a barrier for people to run multiple characters like I think the best example is the epic destiny I think that's a pretty big wall for people who run want to run new characters because that's a grind you got to go through you have to go through the epic destiny grind to really have a viable character in past level 20 You've got to, at least by the time you get up to level 30, you really need to have at least one Dex Destiny really uh, geared out. And you need to probably have some twists as well. There's a lot of twists that really make your character a lot better, like twisting in Cocoon, for example. That's a very common thing. Another con as far as running multiple characters is your characters may end up not being as powerful because... If you're running 10 different characters, time being a finite resource for everyone, you're probably not going to get all those characters, all the past lives you want to give them. So your characters will, you'll have more characters, but none of them will be as powerful as one single character. Since you have limited time, you may not be able to gear out all your characters the way you want to. I know for me personally, if I ran more than a couple characters, the character's power would, res would suffer as a result. So my conclusions. I think the bottom line, which path you decide to take as far as one or multiple characters, depends mostly on your playtime. I think that players who are more casual or just who were hardcore players, like perhaps like myself, who just don't play as much these days because of just time restraints, because of everything going on in their lives, I think those types of players who might only play one or two days a week should probably stick to one character. And I think they'll, they'll be more happy with just one character because... If you run multiple characters and you only play like once a day, once a week or twice a week, it's going to take you a long time to get to level 20, level 30, especially if you're a new player. I know for me personally, the first time I ran through level 20, it took me a long time. So it's just a matter of managing the limited play time you have. If you're a player that likes to spend more than a few days a week playing maybe you're an everyday player i think those type of people are better off running alts just because they will run out of stuff to do i think another point is whether you want run one or multiple characters also depends on how much you want to play more than one class a lot of people in ddo like to have one character of each class but there's a lot of other players who really are class specialists who really enjoy one class in particular and really don't have fun playing with other classes so if you really enjoy only one class you're probably more likely to just stick with one character even if you have more time even if you are playing every day you're probably still more likely to stick with one character because you don't really crave those extra gameplay experiences that other players do and on the same token, if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you're what people call an alcoholic, where you do get easily bored with a single build and you want to constantly jump between characters, you're going to be more likely, uh, you're more likely going to want to run multiple characters, even if you do only play one or two days per week. I think that you're, if you're a player like that, you probably aren't 
as concerned about min-maxing anyway, so I think it'll work out for you. That's going to be it for the video. If you all missed it, several days ago I uploaded a narrated version of some DDO fanfiction I wrote. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description. Might be something cool to listen to while you are driving to work or school. Also, I am now on Twitter. If you missed it, you can follow me at AxelAlexK. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Take care.